So this video is going to um, look at kind of taking some very first steps at uh, working with an online judge and working on contest problems. And we're going to start by looking at the um, the PEG uh, uh, judge that was set up at Woburn through their programming enrichment group. Um, we, we've been using this with our, our group and we've also been using the newer uh, Don Mills online judge as well and they both feature this a plus b problem as a way to kind of get started um, the peg judge though is a uh, the a plus b problem is just a simpler problem and a good example problem to kind of get started um, and understand what the you know what the expectations and how working with the judge is going to work so i'm just going to run through um, how to how to do this in this video so that uh, can kind of be used as, as future reference. So your first step will be that you need to create an account on the judge and um, you can just do that uh, if I were to, well I can just log out and you would see then um, log in or create an account. And then you need to go to the problems and search for the problem and it's called A plus B, A space and then plus spelt out. So this is the problem here. So here's the problem descri description, and it says, given two integers, a and b, I'll put the sum. So it's a very simple problem from a programming perspective. You're simply going through the kind of process of making sure that you can receive the input from the judge, you can add the numbers together, and then you can output the correct answer. And the thing to remember, and the important thing that I think this problem is forcing you to, to realize is that the output, the answer, in order to, you know, solve this problem correctly, the output is uh, expected to match exactly with what the server is thinking the answer is. So if it were to feed us the number 1 and the number 5, the sum of those numbers is 6, we should output only a 6. We shouldn't output any other text like, you know, the sum is 6. We shouldn't output anything else other than the correct answer. And this includes prompts. So it might be if you were in my class that I've told you you've always got to include some kind of prompt for the user from a kind of usability perspective. The user has to know what they're supposed to be typing in. But if we were to do that in the case of this problem, that would actually be interpreted by the judge as part of the output. Please enter a number. And then Therefore, your, uh, your code would be marked as being incorrect. So let's, let's move over to uh, Python. I'm just using Spider, and well, this is a kind of a science Python editor that's uh, open source and free that you might uh, want to try out. Um, but I'm just going to uh, receive the two numbers and output the sum. So we can expect that the judge is probably going to send us something that looks like this. In fact, I just need to double check because I don't remember. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of comments. Um, I, I don't remember if uh, they're going to come out on this, if we're receiving this on the same line. I think we are. I think we're receiving two numbers in one, uh, in on one line. Or maybe, and I, you know what, I'm gonna ch I think I'm, we're receiving them separately. I, I like the fact that on the Don Mills site, they're a little more clear and they give you the sample input and output. Maybe they do this on the other problems for PEG, I don't remember. But, um, so we probably are expecting to receive two numbers like this, and then our output would simply be uh, uh, printing out the um, output. Okay, so first of all, we'll... Uh, receive the the first number and of course we need to turn this number into an integer because we're going to perform addition on it and and then we're um, going to receive the second number and then all we need to do is print the sum of those two numbers so I'll test it it's already here and so there's no there's no prompt here, so I enter a one, I enter a five, and I output six. So I'll go back to peg and submit it. This is the link to submit my 
my code. I'll just take that kind of multi-line comment out. And down here I need to choose which language it is. We're using Python 2. And submit it. So you have to become a little familiar with the codes. Um, but what you can see is I received a final score of 100. And uh, there were two cases, test cases that were sent. And in both case, in both cases, uh, it was the correct answer. So that, in a nutshell, is how um, these online judges work. And in the next video, I'll spend a little time looking at dealing with input and output.